what we're looking for is obviously no gap here and no gap on the inside at the same time and then once we as we fasten our plank into place hopefully it will just bend around that shape we can just shave a little bit out the middle of that plank if we think we need to using our chisel as a straight edge that plank's pretty straight there now and I think when we nail it the nails will just bend it around the curve of the transom. Fitting it into the half lap underneath, you can see that it's tight against the half lap, but we've still got a, a little gap here, which means we've got a bit too much wood. On our half lap there, on the inside, on this piece and by checking the fit of the bottom edge we can see they're fairly flush so we don't want to take anything off off there we just need to take a little bit off there just to help our plank curl up around the transom so we can just wedge our plank out the way Just quietly shave off try it back in place that's a better fit there just need to shave a little bit more off the transom From there, try it again. It's getting better now. Just the depth of our half lap here is just slightly greater than the depth on this plank, probably because we used the other plane and it wasn't quite millimeter perfect. Right again. Maybe one more shaving. Just want to mark our nail holes. If the clamp's going to stay there. I want our nails to be in the centre of the transom so we can take a line from the previous row of nails line there halfway through the transom just stick a straight edge on it mark that and then mark our nails we have one in the middle of our half lap there one up there and one in the middle and we'll Put a smaller nail up there just to help keep that top edge in. So that's done. Because the, the position of the plank on the boat is what gives us its, its shape and its curve and it's tilt to sit on the mould so um, everything's got to be right really it's, it's quite easy to make a mess of it yeah we've got the right overlap there
Just check that that's in. Yeah, that's looking good. We've encouraged the plank to curl around the transom. We may put two small nails there just to encourage it in. Because obviously when the next plank goes up, there'll be a big nail in the middle of that half lap and that'll pull it in. But just for now, We can release this clamp in case that's stopping the top edge curling in. And there we go, that's all right, that's curled around there nicely. Just um, tighten those in. So now we're back to just riveting the last six nails. That's it, that's our plank riveted, nailed in place, and we're ready to make a template for the next one.